This is the reason for the extinction of the dinosaurs. And the disaster may be repeated with humans. The extinction of the dinosaurs took place 66 million years ago, due to the impact of a small asteroid on the globe, which led to a major catastrophe that ended in the complete extinction of a number of living organisms, including dinosaurs. A recent scientific study revealed the disaster that befell the planet 66 million years ago and ended with the extinction of the dinosaurs and a number of other creatures and organisms. New creatures this time, including humans. According to the new study, the results of which were published by the British Daily Mail newspaper, in a report seen by Al Arabia.net, the extinction of the dinosaurs took place 66 million years ago due to the impact of a small asteroid on Earth, which led to a major catastrophe that ended with the extinction of a number of organisms. All living things, including dinosaurs. The researchers found that the asteroid impact occurred during the northern spring. Ironically, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs and plunged the Earth into a long impact winter likely occurred in late spring to early summer 66 million years ago. This conclusion was reached by a team led by the University of Manchester in Britain after studying sediments at the Tannis Fossil Site in North Dakota that were formed at the time of the impact. To narrow down the impact time, the team performed several different analyzes of annual growth lines in fossil fish bones preserved at the site. The researchers compared their findings to evidence of certain insect behaviors, such as leaf mining and hatching of mayflies, which have a seasonal component. The mass extinction marks the boundary between the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods and led to the disappearance of 75% of living organisms at that time. According to the researchers, the 6.2-mile-wide asteroid slammed into Earth in what we know today as Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, leaving behind the 93-mile-wide Chicxulub crater. The research was conducted by paleontologist Robert De Palma and colleagues from the University of Manchester, UK. The Chicxulub impact at the end of the Cretaceous period triggered Earth's final mass extinction wiping out about 75% of species diversity and facilitating a global ecological transition to biomes dominated by mammals, the team wrote in their paper. The temporal detailing of the impact event on a fine scale has largely eluded previous studies, they added. They added that determining the exact timing of the collision event is critical to gaining a better understanding of the early course of the mass extinction that followed because time plays a vital role in many biological functions, such as the time of reproduction and hibernation, that inform selection strategies and even the nature of host-parasite interactions. What was stated in the study? Dinosaurs or dinosaurs, singularly dinosaur or dinosaur, an Arabized word for a compound Latin word, meaning a very terrifying lizard, is a diverse group of extinct animals that for 160 million years were the dominant vertebrates on the surface of the globe, specifically since the late tertiary period, about 230 million years ago. Until the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65.5 million years ago. Most species and families of dinosaurs became extinct during the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, and scientists believed for a long time that they did not leave any lineage behind them, but that assumption was proven wrong, as researchers later discovered that birds are the closest relatives of dinosaurs remaining in the current era, and that through the evidence that appeared linking the two taxa, it was found that all birds today are descended from a common ancestor that evolved from theropod dinosaurs during the Jurassic period. Likewise, most modern classifications place birds as a group remaining in the order of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are considered one of the most shaped groups of the animal kingdom, its descendants are birds, the most diverse vertebrates on earth, with more than 9,000 species. Ancient biologists were able to identify more than 500 species and 1,000 different types of non-avian dinosaurs and today different forms of dinosaurs can be found on all continents of the world, 
whether they are alive represented by birds, or dead that are defined by their inducers. A number of dinosaurs were herbivores and others were carnivores, and some types of them walked on their hind legs, while other types walked on four legs, and some of them were able to move using both methods. Many non-avian dinosaurs developed external extensions of their skeleton that formed a body shield, a bony collar, or horns, and some species have achieved international fame for their strange external shape, as scientists imagine. Bird dinosaurs have dominated the atmosphere of the globe since the extinction of the winged reptiles, which were considered their main competition and the main reason that inhibited their evolution. Dinosaurs are famous for the size of some huge species, which generates an idea among the public that all these animals were giants, but in reality most dinosaurs were human-sized or even smaller. It is known that most species of dinosaurs built nests in which to lay their eggs and incubate them until hatching. Dinosaur skeletons displayed in museums around the world have become important tourist attractions, since the first dinosaur fossils were discovered in the early 19th century, and these animals have become a symbol of the global and local culture of some countries. Dinosaurs have been depicted in many novels and films that have achieved great success and a huge sales rate, such as the Jurassic Park series. Any new discovery of great importance is covered by various media and presented to the public interested in these matters. Etymology Sir Richard Owen, originator of the name Dinosaur the term dinosaur was formally coined in 1842 by the English paleontologist, Sir Richard Owen, who used it to refer to the distinctive tribe or class of lizard reptiles that had been identified in England and around the world. The term is derived from the Greek words, dinos, Greek, delta epsilon iodinu, meaning great, powerful, or amazing, and soros, Greek, sigma alpha rho alpha, meaning lizard or reptile. Although the scientific name is often interpreted as a reference to dinosaurs' teeth, claws, and other fearsome features, Owen intended it to refer to the size and majesty of dinosaurs. In colloquial English, the word dinosaur is sometimes used to refer to an unsuccessful thing or person who failed, though dinosaurs prevailed. On Earth 160 million years, and the strains of its descendants, birds spread and diversified. The name dinosaur is used in the Arabic language in general to refer to these animals, and it is a distorted word for the English word dinosaur, and some write it dinosaur as in the French word dinosaur. With the advent of the early Jurassic period, 200 to 170 million years ago, the continent of Pangaea was still more or less interconnected, and land connections remained between all seven continents so dinosaurs and other terrestrial vertebrates retained their unique settlement rate, which was unusually low as the world connected together. During this period, the Jurassic period, dinosaurs began to dominate and impose their real control over the forms of terrestrial life, as well as increasing their geographical spread across the world. During this era, approximately 180 million years ago, the continent of Pangaea began to disintegrate, which caused many geographical and climatic changes on the planet. During that period, the ice of the poles began to melt and the sea level began to rise and flood huge areas of the planet's lands, and this in turn increased the level of humidity and then rain, so the climate became more moderate while rich forests grew in various forms of life, and these environmental conditions helped dinosaurs increase their numbers and dominance. The continents also began to disintegrate and isolate quickly from each other at this time. During the late Jurassic period, North America drifted northward, separating it from South America. Thus, North America, together with Europe, formed part of the continent of Laurasia, while the South remained united with Antarctica, the Indian subcontinent and Australia. Forming Gondwana before Australia drifted away beginning its long isolation that continues to this day. With this rapid disintegration and isolation of parts of the world from each other, the dinosaurs began to lose their ability to move between continents, and the endemic rates of their types began to rise, while the dinosaurs of each continent began to develop alone, isolated from the dinosaurs of other continents. 
There is no explicit evidence so far of a sharp rise in heat or a significant change in climate during the Cretaceous period, which is the last era of the Middle Period during which dinosaurs lived. As for the continents, they moved away from each other, as they did not move away before, except a few times in the history of the whole Earth. The parts of the world were very isolated from each other, and the rate of settlement among dinosaurs began to rise throughout the late Cretaceous period. During this era, the world was divided by many shallow seas here and there, so a shallow sea separated the west of America from its east, and its west was connected before that with Asia through a land bridge before the sea separated the two halves of the continent, so that its west became an isolated island while its east united with Europe and Greenland. As for the rest of the southern lands of the world, they continued to drift away from each other. As a result, the types of dinosaurs differed between the continents. In general, during this period in the southern hemisphere, ancient groups of dinosaurs that had always inhabited it, such as sauropods, ornithopods, and ankylosauria, prevailed, while completely new species such as ceratopsians and hadrosaurids appeared in the northern hemisphere. The diversity of dinosaurs has increased significantly and significantly during this era while the geographical area over which each type is distributed has decreased relatively with the increase in this diversity. Dinosaurs continued at this pace during the Cretaceous period, and their diversity increased with the increase of their endemism, before they became completely extinct at the end of that era within the extinction of the Cretaceous-Paleogene period. In the end, I thank Jason for your follow-up. We hope to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button and do not forget to like. We also await your support through the Super Chat and the Thank You feature.